What's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be going over why a lot of e-commerce businesses end up failing. So a lot of you guys off of TikTok have been reaching out, asking us a ton of questions about Amazon FBA, e-commerce, and all the finite details that go into the business. But the overarching factor and the reason that some of you guys will end up failing is because of the mindset that you have when getting started with this business. Keep in mind that these things take time and there's no get rich quick scheme. You actually have to spend time investing into product, consistently selling it, finding new places to order products slash new places to source or whatever model you're doing. If you're doing private label, you know, investing into different SKUs. The bottom line is you need to have a delayed gratification mindset when getting involved with this business. Month over month, you have to let your business compound, meaning you have to continuously reinvest your profits into new SKUs, more inventory, better processes, better software, and things to make you more efficient. If you go into this and start making a little money or making some sales and instantly start pulling money out of it, you'll never actually see growth because you'll constantly be ordering the same amount of stuff, if not have even less because you're pulling money out and then returns happen and certain expenses come up. So you have to keep in mind that when you're doing this, you wanna let this go for at least six months to a year before you pull anything out. This will allow you to really grow because if you start out spending maybe two to 5,000 a month on product, if you let it reinvest for six months to eight months, maybe even a year, you'll end up compounding from like two to 5,000 all the way up to 10 to 20,000 to buy product. And then you could also leverage outside sources to grow further. Keep in mind too, a lot of the questions that we get involved with this stuff comes down to like finite details. A lot of people ask questions about ungating or shipping costs or how to find the right item. And the bottom line is none of these little things will end up being the reason that you fail. You can't put too much emphasis on one little issue that pops up because the bottom line is when you're doing this, especially full time, there's going to be little issues that pop up 10 times a day, whether one supplier is canceling your orders or a wholesaler is out of stock on some of your replenishable SKUs or your carrier gets delayed or drops a pallet or damages goods, the list goes on. There's constantly going to be little things that happen. And if you focus on any one of these little things, you're never going to be able to put yourself in a position to grow because you're going to be spending time working on one little thing when the bottom line is you constantly need to work on overall sourcing more goods, selling them at a good price, making sure your repricer is working well for you, making sure that you're selling goods at a profit and cutting losses, killing off dead inventory and liquidating. You don't need to really worry about one specific shipment that got messed up or one item that got lost. Overall, you need to focus on the big picture. Yes, you need to take care of these little problems. You can't let them get in the way of the big picture. So if you guys are just starting and you have an issue with ungating, you know, all you need to do is order the 10 units from one supplier, send in the invoice that they give you, and then you can sell that entire brand or category. If you're having an issue with a shipment getting checked into Amazon, send them the info that they're asking and move on to ordering more product for the next one because those reconcile periods could take a month or two before you get reimbursed. So you might as well move on to new product in the meantime and just email Amazon back and forth to take care of it. And when it gets fixed, you'll you can move on. If you're having an issue with a software not working well, try a different one. If you need to set up a new algorithm on your repricer, try it on some SKUs, see how it does, monitor it for a couple of days, and then make a decision and move it forward. Overall, all the little issues that are going on, you need to keep pushing and keep the overall mindset that you're gonna keep reinvesting into this and keep trying to grow for a long period of time. So the bottom line is have a delayed gratification mindset where you're willing to put time into this and let it marinate and really grow. And also don't get hung up on the little things. If there's any little issue that goes on, utilize YouTube to your advantage, figure out the solution, fix it and move forward. Always look for new ways and processes to become more efficient. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for your business.